Hi guys, it's Dean Jethro, and this is our first sit down video. So we're just gonna let you know more about us, how we started dating, where we went to school, and everything. Um, because all our other videos before this one have been dub smashes and songs playing in the background with just pictures of us. So this is the first time that you get to hear our voices and everything. So hi, I'm Didi. I'm Jethro. And we have an Instagram together. We started the Instagram eight or nine weeks ago um, because we're dating. And I have a personal Instagram, D dot everything. But I wanted Jethro to get Instagram and I knew he wasn't going to do it or I knew he wasn't going to put anything on it. So we decided to start an Instagram together. And then after that, we decided to start a YouTube channel. And so here we are. So, okay. I was born in Clarksdorp in the Northwest province in South Africa. Say where mm. you were born. <laughs> I was born in Pretoria. I grew up in the Kalahari for a few years of my life. Then I moved to Northwest. Well, I was in the Northwest always. Then I moved to another game reserve where my parents worked and went to school in Rustenburg with Didi. And then I moved again to Polansburg National Park. Yeah, so Jeter lives in a national park. It's pretty cool. We go on game drives and stuff. And there are animals all around. Not all around his house. They're in a park. But yeah, it's pretty cool. Okay, I was born in Clarksdorp. I lived there until I was in grade one. And then my dad got a job transfer to Rustenburg. So I lived in Rustenburg from, from the end of 2003 until now. Um, so basically the end of grade one to grade 12, I was in Rustenburg at a school called Sally Park Secondary School. That's where we met. Um, primary school. Yeah. Okay. Primary school. Sally Park Primary School. We met in grade five, right? Well, we, we knew each other. We used to talk. Our friends were kind of friends with each other and we used to talk, but it wasn't anything big. He was just a friend of a friend and yeah. <laughs> and then in grade six, we were in the same class and we were basically, we became more than just acquaintances. We became friends and started talking and then Jethro can tell this part. <laughs> okay. So, Mr. Nosy here decided to read a letter between my friend Megan and I. We were sending uh, each other letters in class about who we like or who we think is cute and stuff like that. And he found the letter. I don't know how. I was passing it. You were passing it. Okay, he was passing the letter and he read it. And then he kind of saw that I like him or I think he's cute or something. And then we started talking a little bit after that, like a little bit more. And I always used to wear his watch. He doesn't remember this. I used to always wear his watch and take his watch off his wrist and stuff. And then we started becoming closer friends and people just started saying that they see sparks between us and stuff like that. And so I told him, I wrote him a letter and I was like, um, our friends think that we would look cute together. And he was like, okay, uh, well, I still have this letter. He's like, I think, well, I think you're hot. And I was like, thank you. I don't know what to say. And then he's like, why? And then I'm like, I don't know, because Mr. Dell said I'm hot. And then I uh, said that he's hot as well. And then we started talking a little bit more, getting to know each other. And then we ended up together. We started dating on the 31st of July in 2008. Yes, in 2008, we were in grade 6. And then, yeah, our first Valentine's Day together was in 2009. 
the pictures up on um, our Instagram, the picture that we took on our first Valentine's Day together. Um, you were in a kissing booth or a booth, picture taking booth and he kissed me on the cheek. Yeah. And we didn't know that everyone could see the picture outside. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then what else? Till now. Yeah, basically. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah. We've been very close for seven years now. Yeah, close friends. I knew that I could always run to Jethro if I had a problem, anything that I needed to talk to him about. He was always, always there for me. And I really appreciate it from the bottom of my heart because I've lost a lot of friends. Um, close friends best friends and he's really been the one that's stuck there for me i know it sounds cliche because he's my boyfriend but he's really been my best friend through everything and there's never been a time where jedro miraculously just went missing and we didn't talk for like ages and then he came back and pretended everything was okay so basically we've always been close and yeah up to today and hopefully forever what else uh, now we study out of school we are university students one day hopefully he'll be a nature conservationist and i will be or he'll be a, an ecologist and i will be a doctor one day um if we just stick to our books and study hard We'll see that and yeah, we're just hoping for the best for our future. Although we know that you can't plan everything, we're just trying our best to stick to this path and stick together through it. Help each other and motivate each other every day. So yeah, that's it from us. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.